What's up guys, it's Canelo Alvarez here with a brand new episode of Room Tour Project, episode 220. The series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. And this week we have a clean and minimal edition. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But we'll kick it off now, episode 220. This episode of Room Tour Project is sponsored by the Elgato Wave 3, a gaming and streaming microphone that I'll be using to record this entire episode. With great features like a built-in volume knob, a touch-sensitive mute button, the ability to monitor your audio, mix your game volume with your chat volume, it's got a lot of great features. I dropped a full review on my channel if you want to check it out, as well as in-depth mic tests. And it also includes their Wavelink software, which will make your gaming and streaming a breeze. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. First up, we have Kenneth P, and I am loving this shot. You know, it's golden hours, so you got the sunset just shining in, but it still looks nice and like cool with the, the white lighting, and this is just a killer setup. So checking it out, for the single monitor, he's rocking a 27 inch from MSI, it's 165 hertz. If you hear growling in the background, that's my dog, angry that there's deer outside. They're deer, they're allowed to be outside. <laughs> No, they're not? Okay. Anyways, for the peripherals here, he's now rocking a Ducky 1-2 Mini with brown switches inside, keeping the lighting nice and white as well, with Logitech G502 Lightspeed Wireless Mouse. Definitely a pretty solid combo. And for audio on each side of the display, he has Logitech Z623 speakers with those headphones there hanging down, the Marshall Monitor Wireless. I love the matching here with like the gold and black accents on the lamp and it just fits in as a headphone hanger perfectly. <laughs> and then over to the PC inside the Corsair Carbide 275R case, we have a Ryzen 5 3600X CPU with the Corsair Hydro H150i Pro AIO, 32 gigs of Team Force Delta 2 RAM on an MSI Z570 Gaming Pro Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard with the Gigabyte RTX 2070 Super Graphics card. And this is a super clean build love the all white components here trying to match it to a white and black theme white braided cables white sleeving on the AIO very nice stuff so Kenneth starting us off right this is what clean and minimal should be just perfect in every regard a beautifully matching wallpaper big old window there natural ambient lighting I love you Kenneth wait what now we've got Lars and guess what more green, more plants, more matching wallpaper, you know what it is. 220 episodes, you get me by now. He says this is primarily used for music production, so not going to be too heavy on gaming, but he's got the hardware to do both. So for the display, it's a single 24 inch from AOC. He said it's not really a good panel, but it gets the job done. I feel you there. And then for peripherals, going mainly wireless here with the Razer Atheris mouse and the Logitech MX Keys keyboard. It's called the MX Keys. And then he also has the Arteria Keylab 49 Essential MIDI keyboard. They're all on a seemingly felt desk pad. And then for audio, those big old speakers, there's a Tano Reveal 802s. And then in the background, chilling on the pegboard, his headphones, the Audio-Technica ATH M50X. Now, powering everything here is gonna be his 2018 Razer Blade Pro. So it's got a 144 hertz display. So again, whether it's you know gaming on here or on his actual monitor, it is a pretty powerful laptop. It's got an i7-8750H, 16 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 2060 graphics card. So for gaming, music production, whatever use case, it's going to be pretty capable. And this is another setup with tons of ambient lighting, two windows right there. The plants are going to thrive. But again, it's about the aesthetic here. It's well kept. It's organized. And guess what? ba da ba ba, -ba I'm loving it. McDonald's, you better sponsor the next episode. Next up, we've got Will, and will you admit there might be too much plants here? You plant on the left and right side are real, but I think the ivy going up the wall is definitely fake. But it still could look pretty cool, and guess what? It made it on this episode, so I guess uh, it fits the criteria. And I like how it's under, you know, the, the stairs, so possibly like a loft setup, but it does look pretty good. So he's got two setups, or one setup, but you know, two monitors, with the primary being an LG 38 inch ultra wide, and the one on the right side vertically mounted is a Prime Cables 27 inch 4K. It's gonna be good for browsing or putting up your Spotify playlists. 
And then down for his peripherals, he got two custom keyboards here. Love seeing this. Got the KBD fans 8X Mark II and the KBD fans 67 V2. And both the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse and Logitech G305. Now for his PC build, they have a nice ITX case over on the left side of the desk, which is still underneath the stairs, so it's got to be compact. This is the Nuvello Stec case. Inside, he's got a Ryzen 8700X CPU with the AlphaCool LT240 AIO, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM on an Asus Strix X570i motherboard, and an EVGA GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition. They look so much cooler with the angular shapes, and now they're just flat and ugly. But all in all, Will, I'm digging it because the nice, you know, light wooden desk, uh, it's brighter. So it makes everything else kind of pop and stand out. Got maybe like the clouds for the wallpaper. So adding in some of the blue to match your desk pad and, you know, the custom keyboards and stuff. Mix it all up. Plants going up the wall. Plants behind it. I'm expecting spaghetti to pop out. Now is Andrew, and damn, this is super clean. Seems straight out of like a magazine, and of course, got the Jordans on display. Whew, even in the wallpaper, he means business. So the display here is the Asus ROG Strix. It is a 31 and a half inch curved gaming monitor, 1440p, 144 hertz, and a pretty good job with it being on a monitor, like mounting arm off to the left side, but it's hidden and you can barely even tell. It looks like it's actually mounted to the wall. So great job with that and cable management. This thing is spotless. For the peripherals, going wireless as well yet again with the Harpoon RGB wireless mouse from Corsair and a Deria DK63 wireless mechanical keyboard. And that tablet's actually what's powering the entire setup. So it's a 2020 Microsoft Surface Book 3, got a docked up over there, and that powers it all. So real quick before we talk about that more, we'll just talk about the audio because you can see he's got the uh, Bang & Olufsen Bioplay H9i wireless headphones in orange and that speaker there looking pretty nice is the audio pro add-on t5 but yeah all powered by the surface book 3 it's a 13.3 inch display got a 10th gen i7 1065g7 cpu 32 gigs of ram a gtx 1650 max q gpu and i'm loving the aesthetic here of course with the shelves and just the design all around to the room big sneaker head but it's just it fits in you know you don't usually see sneaker themes but this works out 100 percent and some other info before we round this out, the desk is the Smart Desk 2 from Autonomous with the Noble Chairs Epic in black and gold. Loving the plant, I think it's like the, the snake plant, the prince. This is all banging. Then lastly, we have codename O13J1 with a white and green setup. So lots of green with the RGB light. Got his own thriving aquarium here, a lizard tank, and it's gonna fit in with the theme. That's the good thing about plants. You mix it in with the wallpaper, get a little green with the RGB, and it all flows. So for the single display, this is a 24 inch CB2 monitor from Acer. He's got that propped up on a monitor riser there. Give it more elevation and I think a fidget spinner. Is that what I see? But down to the peripherals, we have the Ant Pro 2 wireless keyboard and actually has a custom coiled cable on that to make it non-wireless with the HyperX putting keycaps to make the RGB shine through and Logitech G305 wireless mouse in white. So got the white peripherals, green RGB in the keyboard. For audio on the desktop, those speakers are Logitech Z150 and the headset of choice here is the Cooler Master MH751, a very underrated gaming headset. Take my word for it. And then as you saw, towering in the background, but still kind of slim and compact at the same time, is the Fantex Evolve Shift Case. This is a super unique tower. I always love seeing them. Inside the Intel i5-7500 with a Corsair H60 AIO. Got 16 gigs of Crucial Ballistics RAM on an Asus Strix B250i motherboard, and then Asus GTX 1060 graphics card. Then when the lights are off, that green is super bright, nice and neon, even switches up the wallpaper a bit to add more green to it. <clears throat> My voice is going, this always happens now. What's wrong with me? I don't got the Rona. But regardless, O13J1, I love this stuff. Desktop itself could be a little bit more tidy, but I'm not going to complain, my man. I see the USB dock next to the headset, so maybe if you can maybe like mount that behind it or underneath the desk, it might clean it up a little bit. Regardless, it's still a nice setup. 
All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 220 of Room Tour Project, the clean and minimal edition. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget all the gear and hardware you saw, we listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you think it's worthy of being included on a future episode of Room Tour Project. If it's clean, if it's minimal, if it's crazy, if it's over the top, definitely submit. But if you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.